I know, he hit me that hard, he had to pay to get back in. Now then, it's the Baron. Saturday night, 7th of October at the Manchester Arena sees the Corolla Burns Bout. And that's 72, best with bet Fred. My money's on a Corolla knockout. Firstly, for me, this fight should have happened two or three years ago. And it's been sold as the fight to end all fights. But on paper, all is what it is, is an half decent domestic tear up. And I think it's going to be quite disappointing. So you only can imagine how it's been sold to Ricky Burns and Anti Corolla for that matter. Especially for Burns coming down from 140 to 135 in the upper beating Corolla and then clutching at straws, if he does win, that he's going to get one last sniff of a world title shot. The flip side to that is, and again it's only my opinion, I wasn't there when they were thrashing out a deal, Eddie Hearn has put his arm around Anthony Corolla and said, look, you've had two hard fights against a world class Linares, do you think you can beat Ricky Burns? Yeah, nice one Anthony. Here's a bit of pin money, go and get some sauce in for Christmas. For me it's a no brainer and you only have to look at the calibre of opponents they've both faced in recent fights. So in Burns last fight, he was embarrassingly schooled in his backyard against Indongo, it was painful to watch. The fight before that when Relic rocked up, he had Burns all ends up and again it's only my opinion but he was lucky not to get knocked out that night and it was only for Relic's naivety not being able to shut the trap door and let him dance out of it for 12 rounds that Ricky Burns got away with one that night. I just look at Corolla and obviously he's younger and I personally think that'll be fitter at the weight and when you look at his last two fights against a world class Linares even though he got beat he was showing off world class ring craft even in defeat. So you tell me when you last seen that in a Ricky Burns fight and you're going to have to go back years and that reason alone has made me put my money down and grab this 7-2. So that's the selection. Anthony Crowler to win by knockout, technical knockout or disqualification. 7-2, best with bet Fred. Bang your comments on, let me know what you're going for. Google up with all your selections, whatever you pick. And I'll leave it for now. Cheers for listening to Baron. Baron.